Our cameras on one man in a rich vein of form and topping the scoring charts. Will he add more today on EA TV? Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. I'm Derek Ray and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Nottingham Forest versus Southampton. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Starting 11 from Nottingham Forest, then. Well, it's a defensive lineup, that's for sure. But their wing backs and at least one of their midfield players will need to break forward when they regain possession, just to give them a threat going forward. And here's how it looks for Southampton. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good but it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. Thank you, enjoy the game. And the contest begins. Chance to do damage. It might be on for them. Guidi in possession. Firing it towards goal. And there it is! The opening goal, the ideal way to start. Well, here's the replay, and it shows how patient they were in the build-up. Just so assured, waiting for the right moment. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. But it's tight at the top and extremely tense, just as we would want it, Stuart. Well, it looks like being a very close race for the title, doesn't it? There's nothing to choose between the teams, but can one of them just go on a great run and pull away? Well, sloppy in possession. But a goal to update you on in the Wolves game. Alex Scott has the details. Yeah, it's a goal for Wolves. The goalkeeper did all he could, but no one was going to stop that one. They've scored the opener here with nine minutes played. What a fascinating matchup we have here today, Derek. Cheers, Alex. Running with the ball confidently, but they took care of the sit. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. to close down the shot really good high press it is to be a throw in now what on earth happened there well news to bring you from one of the other games and big news at that here's Alex Scott yes it was a penalty for Leeds keeper went the right way but he made it look so simple and easy 
see it hit the back of the net. It's now 1-0 with 17 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? And making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. Pulls it back. And it's in! All square again! What a match this is turning out to be! Well, here it is again, and the keeper's lost his concentration here. He's totally in the wrong position. He'll be disappointed with that. So back on the way, one goal apiece here. Now with Turan, it certainly wasn't a clean tackle, and the referee has got to book him, I think. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. Has eyes for goal! Well, he couldn't worry the keeper with that effort. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Long-range effort. Easy meet for the goalkeeper. Amin Gouiri. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front! Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. And the ball is moving again. Anyone's guess how this is going to finish? 2-1 currently. Munoz. An effective ball. And the flag does go up. Must have been close. Well, getting very close to the half-time interval, and it's a narrow... I don't think he'll be proud of that challenge, and it's left to the referee to decide what happens next. And this ordering off could mean the end of their push today. Well, there's no way back now. He's really let his teammates down here. said and done Stuart he wasn't a million miles away no he wasn't because he generates so much power from that sort of distance his technique is brilliant the try and a little too close to the keeper in the end and the electronic board has been held aloft three additional minutes here mastery of the passing game well it smacks into the gloves of the goalkeeper well sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game Determined defending. And the whistle is sounded for half time. And the content. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins.
Larea. They do pass the ball with authority. Crossing opportunity. And it crossed the byline. A goal kick as a result. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, what a first half he had. I thought he was outstanding. He caused the defenders all sorts of problems with his movement and pace. And he fully deserved his two goals. And I expect more from him in the second half. Well, breaking developments at Allen Road. There's been a goal there, I understand. Alex Scott? It's another for Leeds United. They're ahead by two now with 53 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. Ojeda. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. No nonsense clearance. Breaking at pace. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Larea. Munoz. Offside, a tight one. Substitution time it is. Well, that's a super ball over the top. Oh, he's gone for goal. Worrell. Richie Larea. And they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Jafet Tanganga. Guiri in possession. Can he make it count? Oh, he's found the net! And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. Well, it's a goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. Underway again with the score at 3 1. Alex has an update for us. I understand somebody has scored at Elland Road, but who? It's a goal for Brighton. They are now behind 2-1 with 74 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. Luca Oyen. And the attack looks promising. Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. A short corner here. Can he find the net? Touched onto the woodwork. And he's only gone and made it a hat trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance! Well, when you see this again, I think the goalkeeper's very unlucky. He makes a good initial save, but the ball comes off of him, rebounds straight to the attacker, and the finish is excellent.
It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Ten minutes to go, then. How about the cross? Great opportunity! Oh, my goodness! He's caught that so well! A goal of the highest class! Fantastic technique! Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. away again and this game was finished as a contest a long time ago right a good moment I think to get an update from Alex because there's been a goal at Anfield it's enough of the Newcastle United it's now 3-1 with 85 minutes played thank you Alex chance to cross not a good pass Thiago The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Luka Oyen. I just missed that little bit of attacking spark. Goalkeeper's ball. And that will be all for this match anyway. It goes down as a Southampton success story. How would you sum this up? Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening, and they played really well. What a performance that was today.